Uh, I think it's a, it's a benefit for the country uh, to form the cabinet with a former minister to head the cabinet. Uh, and uh, he knows most of the problematic issues in the, the problematic uh, files uh, which has been going through in the past uh, few years. Uh, so I think uh, this is very good. Uh, we will continue, the new cabinet will continue and build on the efforts which were exert, uh, exerted in the past in line with the directives of the President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Uh, it is generally perceived that uh, the informal sector is the underground economy. Okay. So it, uh, it survives uh, without any documentations and it is not a problem that is peculiar to, third, to, third, uh, to developing countries, even in the United States, even in developing countries, they have segments of business that work without proper documentation. Yeah. So the issue here, as I second what Dr. Khal said, is to integrate the underground economy, which is absolutely, they are absolutely fine, but they are not just registers, they, are, they don't have the documentation. The issue is we need to integrate them into the formal economy so that the, the, the policy makers would be able to plan adequately and appropriately for the future mm -hmm. without proper and comprehensive knowledge about the total integrated economy the efforts of planning would be in vain i believe that the government the incoming government has many changes to tackle uh, probably it's the toughest the most difficult uh, era is, uh, is to uh, fix the issues the post the revolutions yeah. we, we had uh, a deteriorate, deteriorating economy uh, since the year 2011 and uh, even after the uh, 30 June uh, uh, revolution the the situation wasn't really good the uh, inflation rate was very high the foreign uh, reserve was decreasing to a uh, threatening extent so the situation wasn't really good and still we are improving definitely we are improving the uh, inflation rate uh, has come down from 20 from 35 percent uh, in july last year to now 11.4 mm -hmm. okay. okay and uh, we have a single uh, foreign exchange market we've tackled most of the critical issues mm -hmm. ever since the uh, beginning of the economic reform program in november 2016 but the some of the uh, the issues yet to be tackled. The, the unemployment, 10.6, still a bit high. Yes, we need job creation in the market. We need projects in the private sector and the public sector to absorb the, uh, the, the, the workforce and uh, direct them to create uh, more jobs. Uh, the, uh, the deficit, the, uh, the budget deficit is still a challenge yet. It was improved since last year, and for the first time, we achieved 1.9 uh, uh, surplus in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the budget. Yeah. But yet, still, it's high. Yes. The public debt is high. So all these issues need to be tackled. The government needs to rationalize expenses, the public expenses, same as the general public we also as individuals we need to rationalize our expenses mm -hmm. and for the new patterns of spending it's not just like the old good days everybody would go and spend and enjoy the luxury we are facing challenges of the luxury that we used to uh, enjoy in the past years we should actually hold on on that mm -hmm. so uh, Unemployment is an issue, inflation uh, and exchange and, and uh, keeping the, uh, uh, the uh, exchange uh, market, for exchange market and control is another challenge. Uh, the, uh, the balance of payment, all these issues need to be tackled and uh, keep our eyes wide open on these issues. One issue is that the, uh, average, per the average citizen would always say, well, you ask me to rationalize my expenses, yeah. uh, but I don't see that uh, the government do that. <coughs>
Okay, so... Yeah, and this, this is something that they keep repeating, of course, yes. yes. Actually, it's a challenge again yeah. uh, in, uh, in front of the new government that the government needs to be more transparent about its efforts to rationalize the public spending, mm -hmm. okay? The public citizens, the average citizen, would like to see how much the government has rationalized yeah. each quarter, in order to convince that uh, it's not only me that pay the price, it's the government as well. Yeah. We all live in the tough times and the government as well feels that it's a tough time and started to rationalize its expenses. The President Sisi has uh, uh, met with the, the uh, incoming uh, Prime Minister uh, last uh, uh, yesterday and uh, they discussed the uh, priorities for the new cabinet uh, is to increase the growth, economic growth rate to 7% and to fix the uh, problems of unemployment and the defaulting uh, factories. Yes. Because uh, all these issues would they actually correlate to each other. Mm -hmm. if, if, I, if I, we fix the, uh, the problems of the defaulting factors, yes. this would put or generate uh, more jobs in the market of course. and uh, elevate or decrease the unemployment, definitely increasing the uh, growth rate, uh, the economic growth rate to 7% would tackle several, several issues. Yeah. Uh, and, and as Dr. Khaled said in the beginning, if we are comparing the external debt to the GDP, uh, it should always be linked to the GDP, uh, GDP itself. So if we increase that, the percentage of the foreign debt, external debt to the GDP would be would fall down and remain in the acceptable range. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think yes, it's these are the issues that the new government would need. Has of course, uh, what Dr. Khad said, he has tackled and a very important issue that uh, the young people will not benefit much from the initiative. Apart from the financial side, the finance, I see also the young entrepreneurs, they need technical assistance in setting up their startup businesses. So if they got the money without the knowledge and expertise to run the business, uh, it is uh, as if you are giving uh, um, money and you don't expect a yield out of that. So uh, I call on the, gov the competent authorities mm -hmm to extend technical assistance, education, even vocational uh, training to the startups in order to enable them to manage their own, uh, their own projects. In fact, one of the most uh, serious issues facing Egypt is the uh, increasing population. Yes. Uh, a recent uh, report uh, revealed that Egypt, the population of Egypt increased by one million in the last seven months. So Since it's going to be, it's getting worse very fast. Yes, like and the fertility rate, uh, okay. unfortunately I don't have the figures right, uh, right uh, in front of me now, but the fertility rate uh, for the Egyptian female is 3.5 uh, as opposed to the planned uh, target 2.1. Uh, Egypt since year 2011 increased, the population increased 11 million. Could you imagine? 11 million is equaling the population of Greece. So every six years we are regenerating population, new countries. New countries. Yeah, yeah, it's good, so what is fast. the impact, the yes. side effect? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the increasing, the soaring number of populations, you need to spend more in education, infrastructure, on health, and, uh, and services. So whatever improvement you make in the GDP be won't slower. be felt. Well, well, it yeah. won't be felt exactly. at all. Because you need, according to Dr. Hala Said in her recent statement, you need uh, triple the triple uh, the uh, increase of the population rate to reflect on the gdp so if you have uh, so how can you realize that possibly yes. can uh, it be realized it, it can be realized yeah. so if, if we are increasing at this very high rate 
even if you achieve 7% uh, economic growth rate, it won't be felt. Yes. Because the money you generate from the economy would be spent on the never-ending increase of population. So, uh, people always say that uh, pop the increase in population is not too bad as you say or as you are claiming because we have India is, is increasing uh, the rate of, inf uh, of population increasing uh, tremendously in India and, 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 uh, and in, uh, in China. So, but uh, the, the economy or the population or the average wor workers in, 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 in China and in, 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 uh, in India, they have different patterns, they have different mentalities, they, they have different output. You mean in okay. China, they had to curb uh, exactly. the Exactly. The, the third rate. child, okay, yes. in some yes. provinces, in, provinces in, 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 in China, Yes. Uh, the third child is not entitled for subsidies. Yes. Okay. And uh, even the second child won't get subsidies until the elapse of a gap between three to five, five years. From, uh, uh, from having the first child. Yes. So they have some strict uh, Rules regulations about that. Yes. Uh, regulating that, and uh, they have actually good, uh, good, uh, good education system and vocational system uh, to direct the education to the requirements of the employment market. Definitely. So not everybody going uh, graduating from school is guaranteed to have a job. Of course. So they, they target the segments of the populations and design uh, vocational programs and training and education that is required for the market, the employment market. Mm -hmm. So in order to sum up, I would say that it is a rather serious issue in Egypt that has to be looked at very seriously. Uh, although I'm a big fan for Facebook, mm -hmm. like anybody else, I see that it has a devastating effect in spreading the rumors, tales, negative spirit mm -hmm. uh, among people, and it has always been misused in the in the last uh, in the last uh, last period. Yes, and uh, everybody would just have a Facebook group or a Facebook page would claim that he is the strategic expert and yes. he is the financial expert, and would and just start analyzing. Uh, in a very uh, inaccurate and inefficient way, the current situation Harm, and spreading, even, yes, yes, and spreading the 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 bad spirit, the negative spirit among among the people. Unfortunately, people would take uh, would take these rumors for many granted. People, some of them for yeah, granted, yeah, yeah. and they start acting on that and, sp and, and spreading it and spreading it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in the last week, in the last few days, uh, there are some hash negative hashtags about uh, the hardship in Egypt following the uh, cut of the fuel subsidies and uh, uh, some claims for uh, 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 civil commotions and uh, riots, yes, riots true, and civil true. commotions. Yes, yes. These, uh, these uh, bad things happen not just spontaneously, but I would say that the uh, Brotherhood, the Muslim Brotherhood, and their allies, and uh, and some of have the, handled that. Yes, they Oof. have. Uh, they, they have had. Uh, they have just uh, stepped in. Yes. And fueled. Well, they step in all the time. Uh, yes. There is a, okay. there's a way. You're like, uh, yeah. With the, with the football team, with uh, with uh, with anything, with the subsidy, uh, with the subsidies, with anything that they can interfere with. Yes, Them or others, you know, who do, who would like to just create sadly, habit. sadly, sadly, mm -hmm. the social media cannot be controlled. Yeah. Not in Egypt. It's elsewhere. Yeah. So, on the other hand, how to how to counter that? How to act? Uh, on the other direction, yes. it's for the government, for the media, to be more transparent and open and take very swift action to uh, denounce or to, uh, to clarify the uh, the issues about the reality about uh, the rumors that but if you wait, right if you wait three to four days until an official a mm -hmm. state uh, a spokesman uh, uh, addresses the issue it's in that clear. cuts it right away yeah. exactly when this you know the issues yeah. that are from uh, the responsible ministries you know like they, they have declarations they need, it's put there and then it answers uh, those claims the false but th these actions must be spontaneous yes very quick I expect that the new government yeah. would 
need to tackle the hot issues would be to be looked at as more listening to the voice of the average citizens. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the average citizen needs to understand I'm paying the price, I'm paying the bill. Yeah. So I need to understand, understand more what, what, I'm is, getting. what I'm expected to get. Yes. So, and I expect that the government as well should share, mm -hmm. should take a share in paying the bill.